So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful evening here in Western Pennsylvania. Nice and cool, no humidity, just a perfect night. But anyway, if you've been following our channel for a while, I'm sure you've seen our firewood bucket. It's made by Top Dog Attachments. It goes on the front of the tractor. I'll show it to you here in just a little bit. But anyway, the other night, Darren, the owner of Top Dog Attachments, he called me and he said, Mike, I got a question for you. I said, what's that? He said, how many buckets equals one full quart of firewood? And I said, you know what, I really don't know but I need to deliver a full quart of firewood, so we're gonna find out. This dump trailer right here, this is a Mort's dump trailer. It's a six by 12, which actually I think it's uh, six feet, 10 inches wide on the inside, 12 feet long. And we've tested it out before. Melissa threw a full quart of wood in here. It was all stacked up. And a full quart of wood comes right up to the top of the bed rail. So it'll be easy to tell when we have a full quart of wood. But before I do that, I need to go down below, make a spot to dump this rock. Then we'll put the firewood bucket on and we'll see how many buckets it takes to make one full quart of wood and we'll also see how long it takes to do that. I'm going to go back and look. Melissa did a video a while back throwing that quart of wood in. I just hope that I can beat her time with the tractor and the firewood bucket because she threw it in by hand. So this is 3.3 tons of limestone in this trailer. That's the most I ever hauled in this. The trailer can handle it fine. Uh, this is about the max that I would want to tow with this F-150. And I'm traveling a short distance and it's legal. It's all good.
What you got? remind you to go check out Morgan's Off the Leash. That's my YouTube channel. Our last video was Meet the Morgan series, Hunter Morgan. Next up is Mike Morgan. So go to Morgan's Off the Leash. Um, send me what you want to know about Mike Morgan. I think they already know me. How about him? I just witnessed something funny. What? Piper and Roos snuck down here. The girls have the dogs out in the yard and uh, they're not to be down here. And they snuck down here and Piper would not go back up to the house with Hannah. She is stubborn. So funny. She was getting, she was getting yelled at. <sighs> so this is the uh, top dog firewood bucket. Yeah. It's a great attachment. I like it. Huge capacity. Uh, we use it to go out in the woods, you know, load up with firewood rounds. You can use it to load the dump trailer. I imagine you could use it kind of to sort rocks too. As you can see, there's slots all through the bucket. Occasionally, we'll have a few small pieces that may fall through those slots because we uh, split our firewood pretty small, but only a couple pieces. It works really well. Yeah. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go into this pile here. Okay. And we're gonna see how long it takes to load the uh, dump trailer. I'm not gonna rush or anything like that. Just kind of take my time. And as I mentioned earlier, that dump trailer holds one full quart. So a while back, uh, Melissa loaded that dump trailer. What video was that? Um, 567. 567. And what we did, we had one full quart of firewood. You know, it was four feet high, one single row, 24 feet long, and she threw it in the dump trailer. And how long did that take you? 27, I wrote it down, 43. 27 minutes and 43 seconds to throw on one full quart. All right, well, I think I can do faster than that with the firewood bucket. Surely I can, right? You know what I was thinking when you were talking about this bucket? It's an accessory to the tractor. It's a great accessory. It's kind of like having a handbag to every outfit. It is, you can hold, hold a lot. That's what I'm saying. In. So, like, oh, I'm going to an outing that I need my firewood bucket. Yep, you can fit probably four times the amount five times the amount of firewood in that bucket as you can a standard you know dirt or rock bucket and probably the same with my purse but i'm willing to uh <laughs> give it a try hey i want to mention something about these firewood baskets before we continue so people always ask uh why we stack the firewood in the baskets and don't just put it under that conveyor you literally get almost twice as much in there by stacking it in there as if you would just dumping it in yeah. Which is another reason, like that dump trailer, you know, six foot ten wide by twelve feet long, two foot high sides is more than 128 cubic feet. But when it's thrown in loose, you get uh, less wood in there. It's just like putting your laundry away. If you would leave all the shirts folded when they go back in the drawer after you've decided I'm not wearing any of these, they'd fit nicely instead of just. Who does that? You. Huh. All right, do you have your phone with you? Ah, uh, yeah, it's over here. We'll get ready and see how long this takes. Wait till the tractor starts moving and then start the stopwatch. Okay, I'm starting it now. Okay.
So what was it? How long did it take? Seven minutes and 17 seconds. Seven minutes, 17 seconds, and yeah. how many buckets was it? Seven. Seven. All right. Well, there's your answer, Darren. That's definitely a uh, full quart. It may even be just a little bit over it. Uh, I could knock it down in the sides just a little bit. I'll do that before I haul it, haul it to them. But, uh, yeah. And how long did it take you? 27 minutes. Yeah. That's pretty good. Definitely easier. Didn't have to touch it. 27 minutes. Yeah. I had to move cameras around, and I was I was relocating a family of mice when I was. Oh uh, yeah. It. So that's I a, mean that's a good video for them to go back and watch. I'll put back. that up above. Old Stanley was in that Stanley one. Stanley was he? in it, and yeah. actually, it's actually in the video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Go check out five six five hundred sixty seven. The video five hundred sixty seven is the one we're talking about. Yeah. And we were walking Stanley. He's our oldest golden retriever that passed away in December, but he was sitting out on the trail at um burn corner where I put the picnic table out there he would sit and not move and just ponder life as we know it and um, that's actually where we buried him out there so yeah yeah yep I seriously was crying watching oh were you? oh yeah so but I will say that Kubota is a nice tractor and with that firewood bucket that is a way to load it I think um another obstacle was just your it buckets or I mean your backups pull forward yeah I need a little more checking room. to see what's behind you yeah if you could just boom side by side have your uh, firewood load here and then your trailer see, I think that even that's you're thinking like a dirt mover you're exactly right there's a whole science to that stuff and I also had to move that one bucket just out of the way because there's I don't know how it got buried in there there's one real big round in there that was like 20 inches in diameter that was never split I don't know how it got in there so I had to move that you yeah. Know, easily, you could do it in under seven minutes. Right. You planned it. Twinning with the uh, gray shirts. But anyway, uh, what was it? A little bit ago, yesterday and today, we are on a radio station here, local uh, Froggy, which is a country western station. They have two stations, and I think they're kind of all over the place. But yeah, they're a pretty they big are. radio station here in Pittsburgh, in the Pittsburgh area. And uh, we met Danger from there. He's one of the uh, DJs. He's been there a long time. Really nice guy. We met him at MNR Power Equipment last weekend, and he was kind of intrigued by the whole YouTube thing. So uh, we did like a uh, interview over the phone thing, talking about the channel and stuff. And they played it on the radio today. So yeah, and uh, yesterday, part and, of it yesterday, and and part yesterday. of it today. I was gonna say that was the first time I was ever on the radio, but that's not true. Called into a few talk shows over, Ooh, yeah. over, over the years. I've done that. We won't get into that, but no, yeah, I've done that. He had to eventually block his number. No, that's not true. <laughs> But I think that's they quit about taking his call. <laughs> I'm trying to end this video, as you can tell. I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, but we talked about it. So we said on the radio station, well, we oh, met yeah. with him Saturday at MNR Power Equipment, and then he interviewed us, and actually the voice didn't work, so we had to do it over the phone. Yeah. But the top five things to do outdoors. Yeah, cut firewood was number one. The last one was to start a project that uh, yeah. you know you normally wouldn't do, learn about something, and uh, get outside and do something. Those are the first and the fifth. I can't even remember the three in the middle right now. Oh, hiking on the trails. Hiking, we like doing have that. Have a fire. Fires in the evening. That's another thing we like to do outside. We're going to go do that. And hey, we got a outstanding fire ring that was sent to us today. We're not going to show you in this video. It really uh, is. It's, it's beautiful. It and is you beautiful. can cook over it. Uh, it should be pretty cool. Yeah, it is beautiful. But I think that's it, huh? Do you have anything yeah. else you want to add? Yeah, go check out Morgan's Off the Leash. Get that's that plug in. my channel. And actually i did a series meet the morgans so a few weeks ago i yeah. did grandson ty with uh our second son levi and his wife kate and then the next one for meet the morgans was daughters hannah and daughter eva and then hunter was up and that one was just published a few days ago go check it out it's video yeah. number 15. uh yeah you get to see a little more detail of hunter's life and next up is it's me like morgan and I'm actually going to be with them, so it'll be a... Uh, what are you going to ask me? Oh, I have a list. But, yeah, Ugh. send me your questions of what you want to know about Mike or I, and, um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being here. Click a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Yeah. And then if you hit the bell icon, that'll give you notifications when we publish a video. And share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.